Welcome back, everybody. We are here in the valley uh, near our starting point. I basically scoured that entire mountain range and did not find any more malachite. So for now, we are going to explore this area, which we had seen in the distance, pick up any goodies we can find, make our way back to base, drop off everything we did find, and then strike out in another direction looking for another mountain range. Um, I did do a little bit of research and found out a couple of things. First of all, you're kidding me. <laughs> okay, uh, well, here's some malachite. That's a nice find. Uh, what I did learn is that the, the planets are procedurally generated, so every planet is different for every playthrough. Uh, on Silva, malachite can occur in the Grey Mountains or very deep down in the Earth. Uh, so, since it can occur, we did find a little bit, but uh, it's randomly generated, so you never know exactly where you're going to find the good stuff, although apparently you can just find it lying around. Um, let's take a look at what we've got here, and uh, when we head back... We'll have some goodies to drop off. Now, what have we got here? We've got clay. Okay. Uh, we're getting pretty full here. Let's see. I might have to make two trips. Let's take a look at the... Yeah, we're, we're full now. Tethers, malachite, clay, ammonium. So we did... I mean, the, the trip was not without merit. We did find a lot of interesting things, and we scouted out... And, and eliminated those areas as possibilities for finding malachite. So there's a lot of interesting stuff here. There's a gravity globe here, gravity globe, and uh, some other debris. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head back uh, to base, establish my tether chain, and then come back and take another look here. Okay, so, uh, the good news is that we did find some interesting stuff. Uh, we are going to need some more storage containers to store it all. Um, we do have, first of all, we have another... Uh, we have another small solar panel, which we can drop over here. And then we also found, I believe, somewhere... Didn't we find a battery? Yes, we found a small battery. We can drop that over here as well. Expand our growing uh, power infrastructure a little bit. Connect that up. And then if we grab some resin... Uh, we can build some more storage. Also have the packager, which I don't know quite how that works. More resin here. All right, so actually, let's put this resin back. And that can be temporary storage over there. All right, so we'll come over and grab this resin. Uh, let's see. So if I click and hit E, it quick assigns it like that. And then we can put the clay and what else? The malachite we can put there. We can put the ammonium there. And then on this side, we have some more graphite that we found. Let's throw those over here. Don't know what those are used for yet, but we'll find out. And then we can come over here and make some storage. Uh, looks like we will need more resin than that. So what I want to do now is throw that down like this. Uh, put this over here. Like so. 
And then this will unlock and throw kind of over here for now. I don't know what we're going to use that for, but we'll use it for something. Unpack this. And add it over here, like this. Is that kind of roughly in the right direction? See, I'm, I'm knocking into stuff. This is where being able to lock it down would be great. Bring that over there. That looks good. Okay. Grab a little bit more resin as well. Make a few more of these storage containers. one over here. Unpack. Looks good. And one more for good measure. bit too far forward like that that looks good okay so uh, let's make one for clay one for ammonium one for malachite and then we'll put our extras over here and we'll load up the uh, the graphite as well Now, ideally, graphite would have its own, and we have one more over here for kind of for random stuff. So, sure, let's grab a little bit more resin. And let's make another storage container. And then we are going to need more resin still, but we kind of find that pretty routinely as we head out there. So, uh, let's plop this down. And we'll have you right around there, let's say. Looks good. So this is going to be our kind of uh, random whatever. And so we'll put the graphite that we found here. And now let's head back over to this interesting location. And uh, I do see some mountains over there. So we'll go check those for gray caps uh, and see if we can find some more malachite. There should be a really solid deposit somewhere. Um, now what do we have here? We've got... This is all debris which could be salvaged, but we have a power cell. Consumable item that increases your power capacity. Okay. I don't know that we need that. We probably won't take that with us. I'm not sure what that would be good for. Let's see what else we can find. We've got a small solar power uh, panel. And then over here, a large junk item. Small battery. Very nice. Okay. Now this was a smelter, it looks like. There's a battery. And then this thing was some sort of uh, entertainment module of some sort. like we can't quite get up there uh, but we could bring this thing down recreational item a specialized recreational sphere that offers excellent enrichment for astroneers and other sentient beings globe trotting new mission i think it's drawing power from us or are we getting where are we getting oxygen from it
take a look at the uh, the mission there. We've got some rewards as well we should check out. Globe trotting. Reach top speed in a gravity globe. Unexpected experimental traversal device identified. Just roll with it. Huh. So if we enter it, then what? Oh, we can actually... Oh, look at this. We can roll around in it. And we don't have to worry about uh, gra uh, oxygen. Now, is it drawing power from us, though? I'm not sure. I'm not sure it is. Uh, let's store our goodies. Um, so the power cell, will, we will connect up. How will we do that? We do have a power cell. Increases our power capacity. So, I'm not sure what we do with this. Other than wear it. And I don't know that we need to wear it. So for now, we'll store it uh, in our temporary... Uh, in our, like, temporary storage of... what We don't know what this is for, or we only have one of these, or whatever. So we'll stick it over here for now. What else? Uh, we've got another small solar panel. Now, we could put that on here... And then hook that up. I think we'll do that. We've got a small battery as well. Uh, this one. So we've got tethers. And another small battery. And then we've cleared everything out of this. Except for this compound. Okay. Let's add this battery to uh, something. I guess we'll move this over. And add it to the power network. You can come like right uh, here, I guess. Connect up like that. Actually, let's move you out there. Connect you up like this. And then we have one more battery, so we can daisy chain it over here. Okay, so we're starting to get a pretty decent power network over here. Should be able to print whatever we want. And we found this incredible gravity sphere thing. Uh, so, the only problem with this is that we can get in and roam around, but then when we get out at the far side, we don't necessarily have... Uh, we have to kind of jump in and out in order to uh, maintain our oxygen. But what a great way to explore. How cool is this? Hmm. So this would be great for, like, long-range exploration to find stuff. And then uh, once you find something you're interested in, you make your way back home, set up your chain. Or maybe we can carry some sort of oxygen generation with us. I'm not sure. Hold on. What was that? Is this, uh... Who are you? Are you resin? Ammonium. Okay, we've got more ammonium over here. And it looks like the sphere is giving us oxygen as well. Okay, so now we've got max ammonium. That's a good. That's a good start to the uh, the episode. Let's hop back in, take it home. Why not, right? This gravity sphere is great. Oh, we just don't want to fall down and into. We also don't want to ruin anything. Okay. Uh, let's drop off our new huge collection of ammonium that we don't know what it's for yet. Fantastic. All right, we also have collected a little bit of organic, which I don't think we need. We're full on that. Okay. 
Uh, I have designated this hole as the garbage dump. So, goodbye to you. Let's hop back in and let's go find some mountains. Now, I wonder, I probably can't connect a tether to the gravity ball. I doubt that very much. But let's go do some exploration. We're looking for gray mountains. That's what we really want. And ideally, we can scout them from the gravity ball and see if we can see any uh, malachite deposits. Oh, now there's something over there. There's something quite big here. Let's take a look at this. And can I put a tether down? No, the tether will not connect to the gravity wall. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's take a look at this thing. Huh. I can't see much of anything to interact with here, so I guess this is just kind of a landscape look look at look at me kind of a thing like a random drop that uh during world generation has no no goodies associated with it so these are gray mountains or at least there's there's gray stone here let's uh ride around for a bit see if we can spot any Malachite. Okay, I don't want to go down there for sure. Now, this is the problem with the gravity ball, right? Is that, like, you can kind of only navigate a certain amount of slope, and then you're you're kind of out of luck. Yeah, it won't, it won't go up out of here. I would have to get out and uh, build a uh, ramp for it, I think. Which I could do. this way. Yeah, now we're kind of stuck. All right. So, limits to everything. That's fine. So, if we head in that direction, we might be able to find some. Let's hop out here. And let's see if we can't build ourselves... Like a really gentle slope that we could roll up. Something like this looks good. That might even be too steep, actually. Let's see, what is that over there? Oh, wait a minute, that's Malachite. Okay, so there is some here. All right. There's more there, okay. All right, so we, f we finally found some. This is great, all right. Uh, let's, we're running out of oxygen. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't make a, a little bit of a, Something like this to land on. Let's see if we can get the gravity ball up there safely. Okay, so we can navigate this kind of an incline. Now, if we get out here, will it roll? Or will it stay put? There's more. There's more Malachite. Okay, we did finally find a, uh, a deposit here that we can, we can work with. But we're in that same scenario as before where it's... Uh, not quite where we want it to be. I think we're going to go over here and uh, park park the gravity ball. 
Might have to uh, build it a ramp out in a minute. Let's head back over here and see if we can find more Malachite. The other thing is we're running out of power because we're not tethered now. And we're using the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the booster. So I think what we do need to do here, probably, is come back with the tether. Uh, we actually produced one of our own, and we didn't drop it this time. Very cool, very cool. All right, so we need a very gentle incline here for the gravity ball to roll along. That looks good. No power, okay. Uh, so then I probably need to get somewhere where the wind can blow to, to power this up, and then... Hmm. We might have lost the gravity ball here. Yeah, see, a little bit of wind powers us up. Okay, there we go. And that's where the power cell or the battery would come in handy, right? Okay, uh, let's take a look here. We need to get through there so that the gravity ball can get out. There's some more malachite as well. Okay. So, clear a path for the gravity ball. And now we can go home and get our tether over here. That should work. Let's see. Let's roll back and then roll forward and jump. Clear that lip and we're good to go. Okay, now. There's a little piece of something there. Okay. So where are we in relation to home? Home's over there. All right, cool. Man, this was a great find. I should have, I wish I'd found this earlier. Now, the reason we were trying to build, get Malachite was to build copper to make a, uh, to make a, uh, a solar panel. And of course, now that we actually have a solar panel, we don't need it. So, uh, maybe the, uh, obsession with the, uh, I think we'll, I think we will, actually, real quick. Just dig down a little bit here. Huh. It's having problems. Oh, there's some, something about the landing area there. It doesn't want to dig into it. But let's dig a little, uh, a little hole for, a little landing slot for the, uh, for the gravity ball, just so it doesn't roll away. Like, if we put it in there, should be fine. Okay, good. Um, now, we did find some malachite. Let's drop that off. We've actually got two now. Very nice. All right, so after the disappointment of the last episode, that's pretty gratifying, I gotta be honest. Uh, okay, so we got soil. We don't have uh, power. We could, we could take this. The reason I'm hesitant to bring the power cell, even though it gives us more, is that I'm just going to burn through it anyway if we're not connected to power. And if we are connected to a power by a tether, I won't need it. And it takes up an inventory slot, right? Uh, which is hard to come by. So I think instead we will simply uh, head back towards those mountains. Where were they? They were like over there, that away, I think. Uh, and we will just build a tether network.
And just like that, we're out. Now, am I going the right direction even? Was it over there or more over there? Uh, we are going to need some compound to build more. Oh, hello, what's this over here? And the world is just littered with stuff. What are you? Dynamite? Wow. Okay. Well, we found some dynamite. I guess we can open that box now. And there is some compound. Let's grab some of this real quick. Okay, that's enough. Head back to oxygen. All right. Now, let's make some tethers. Okay. And let's keep heading this way. And we should see somewhere the place where we kind of deformed the mountainside to get out with the tether. Huh. Oh, maybe it was over that direction a little bit more. Let's reclaim you. I think it was this way. Yeah, we were over here because I think I remember that, that cave hole. Here's some more compound if we need it. We definitely found malachite up in these hills. So we're going to keep looking for that. Okay. Yeah, there's our ramp. Okay, so it was in this area that we found it. I think we deformed all of this to kind of find it. Or no, we actually, what we deformed was under the ramp. But there should be more around here, I think. I could be wrong. It could be we found everything there is here. That's kind of what happened last time. But I do want to take a look around. And it can't hurt to set up a, a, a tether network either. Let's bring this down a little bit. So the, the stuff we found, we actually saw it. We saw the green spiky kind of mineral popping up out of the ground. So I think that's what we want to look for. We don't want to just dig randomly through the, uh, through the rock. That seems like a waste of time. I'm going to go until we find it. Hmm. Well, I don't see any out here. Okay, you're gone. Never mind. here. Are we really already out of uh, tethers? Man, they go so fast. Okay. So, unfortunately, I don't see any more in the immediate vicinity. Uh, that small cache that we found seems to have been exhausted. So rather than go mine out the entire mountainside there, I'm going to kind of keep exploring a little bit here. And we're looking for that, like, green, spiky, coppery-looking material. Hmm. Don't really see any up here. Could be more on the other side, over there.
Maybe more this way. Uh, let's move you like that and move you up there. There could be a good chunk over here as well. Let's go take a look, see if we can find anything. I think that's some right there. Let's go mine that out. This orangey green material. This is what we really want to find. And then we will take a little bit of a dig into the mountainside here. To see if we can uh, find any more. Yep, there's some more over here somewhere. that moon or planet whatever that is that's crazy should be a little bit more I would have thought just two random spikes of it hmm grab that uh let's see Let's go down a ways. Okay. Well, I guess there was really just those two little spikes. Uh, let's keep looking. Should be more around here somewhere. Here we go. What's that? That's graphite. Okay. It is a little tough uh, to see at night. Let's keep going. Oh, and we are out of tethers yet again. Okay. So, and now I'm out of compound too, unfortunately. All right. Well, we found a little bit more. I guess maybe we should move on to other things now. We've got like two or three units back there. There's something interesting up there, that's for sure. There's something interesting like everywhere on this planet. It's crazy. All right, let's make our way back. We do have a couple missions to turn in and we can start building some new uh, science or unlocking some new things. By the time we're done, the entire planet is going to be littered with uh, with tethers, I think. Anyway, the other option to find Malachite, if we do end up needing a lot more of it, is to go down and go deep. <clears throat> the deeper you go, uh, the more likely you are to find large deposits of it. Uh, I do need more compound here. Let's grab all of this. Okay. Good start. Get some more tethers going. Uh, 
And maybe we should maybe what we should do now is uh, start doing some research. Uh, we can certainly smelt some copper, uh, just to say we we did it and we're done with that particular little bit of uh, work. I think we will. We'll come over here to uh, the smelter, and let's put let's put. Uh, oh, I don't have any. Right, I didn't actually connect, collect enough to get a full unit. So we have one over here. Let's grab one of these. And let's throw that in the smelter and make some copper. Why not? We've earned it. Okay. Now the other thing we can do, since we have some dynamite, is blow this bad boy open. Take him pretty far away, I think. Because we're not quite sure how this is going to work. And we will pop the dynamite on there. And then I guess we back up and hit F. Okay, that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big explosion. And what did we get here? Uh, an exo chip. Another exo chip. And I think that's it. The rest of this is debris, which we could salvage at some point into something. But uh, I don't know what exo chips are, but we got two. So, good news, everybody. Let's throw those over here until we know what they're for. Oops, come back. Okay. Uh, what else did we pick up? We have some more organic that we don't need. Let's throw you away. Please roll away down there. Okay, well, I guess that could be a trash pit, too. Uh, we've got compound. That's fine. Uh, we're probably running low on resin again. We usually are. We could use more resin. Uh, and then over here, we should now have a block of copper. Yeah, very cool. Okay. Let's throw this on the malachite storage for now. Since we don't have a separate uh, storage unit for metals. At least it makes sense that it's there. We know where it is. And then, what's next? I guess research would be next, right? Because we've got these three items here. Do we want to do research? Or do we want to... Maybe maybe the other thing we could think about doing is investigating new and better ways to, uh, to dig deeper more safely, like putting together work lights or maybe some sort of drill uh, or a vehicle that lets us go down. And uh, something like like a buggy um, or a rover. Kind of more maneuverable than the, uh, than the gravity ball there. Um, and hopefully does the same thing and providing us with oxygen would be good. Um, we can check our mission logs. That can give us some guidance, perhaps. Okay, so rewards. Lights in the distance. There's some bites. Well, that's weird. More bites. And then globe trotting. We got a cosmetic called Dizzy. And a bonus of 500 bites. Unlock Dizzy. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the cosmetics. So that's here. Where's Dizzy? Is it a visor, maybe? Mirror gold. Uh, palettes. Dizzy? Is that what we have? That's interesting. There's different uh, cosmetics here. Hats and masks, emotes, outfits. Okay, well, I don't know what Dizzy is. I'm assuming it's one of these. This is all Exo. Peach, Oasis, Calidor, DeSolo, Atriox. Okay, well, there's a lot of stuff here. I don't see Dizzy, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's go back into the mission log here. Smelteringly hot. We have to refine aluminum from laterite. That gets us a medium storage, which we could use. Could always use more storage. So let's uh, do that. Let's grab a piece of the laterite. Smelt that. And here we're burning all our battery storage because the sun is down and the wind is not blowing. But that's okay. That's what it's for. We have a piece of aluminum. Uh, 
let's stick it on the laterite board for now. And what else have we got? So, smelteringly hot, we get a medium storage. And then there's a lot of active uh, missions here. Uh, let's take our storage for the moment. And we'll put it over here. I guess in the middle, we'll make another row. Uh, which means we're going to need to move this stuff kind of over and out of the way. Uh, we're going to need to build research soon. Uh, but first, let's finish setting up storage here. I think we'll do this one in a row like here. Actually, let me just make sure this is all nice and flat over here. That looks good. Okay, and then we will uh, pop this down right there. Maybe a little bit further. Something like that. There we go. That looks good. And then we'll have like four here. We'll have a little Walmart of stuff. I wonder what the exochips are for. I still don't know how the packager works, but that's okay. Let's go back to the mission log. All right, so we've, we could do some different stuff. Bait and switch. <clears throat> uh, gather sphalerite. Samples of sphalerite are needed to initiate local fauna examinations. Do we have sphalerite here? Uh, where's our resources? Sphalerite, sphalerite. Found on Silva in caves. Okay. Wait, is that what we turned into? Is that what we turned into zinc? Yeah. Okay, so it's not counting the ones we've already found. We know where it is, so we can go down and do that one pretty easily. Alright, let's turn that on. We'll do a bunch of missions. That's what we'll do. Yeah, I think that works. Mission completion reward item. What is this? There's some kind of, like, gobbledygook here. Wait, we can actually get a trailer and a... Print a tractor. Oh, we wanted to do that anyway. All right, hold on. Let's go get three sphalerite. That's tracked. So we're going to head over this way. Uh, we can get more resin while we're down here as well. This game this game is kind of fun in that uh, I like the... Uh, I do enjoy the... Um, the unlocking and building kind of aspect of it, but the resource collection's a little bit, a little bit of a drag. Uh, I do kind of wish I had a backpack with like 15 more storage slots. Okay, so we need to keep going here. Curve around. Now we can pick up some uh, additional re research here. Just quickly scan these guys. Go. There's a quick 200. And then we make our way down. And over here to the sphalerite. Okay, uh, let's collect that. One of three. Okay, making progress. of the vein over here. Might have run out. There's, there's two. We'll just go straight up here. No. Okay. Uh, let's build out this bridge we're working from. A little bit. Just over there ish. Go over here. Grab this. Now we might really have tapped the vein, though. We don't see any more here. Yeah, okay.
Okay, so we might have to find an another vein of it. Uh, there's probably one down here. But we'd have to find it. Let's see, that's laterite. What are you? More laterite. Okay. Yeah, there's there's laterite kind of everywhere. The spherolite was harder to find. Let's see. I guess we just keep exploring. Uh, there is resin over here, so we'll pick up some of this. We should kind of look around for more sphalerite. Is that what it's called? Sphalerite? That's laterite. Okay. Well, here's the resin, for one thing. There may be more over there. Uh, I think we've got a couple we can pick up here. Yeah. Okay, there's, there's probably enough resin for now. Uh, let's head over in this direction. Oh, there's something over there. There's many somethings over there. Now, what would that be? Maybe that might be more sphalerite. Let's go see. Uh, let's get a uh, ramp going here. Good. I think that is more sphalerite. And we've got a research thingy over there as well. Uh, and something, an, an exo cache. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff. thing is in the way. There we go. That's better. Uh, how are we going to get you out? What is that up there? It's Valorite, yeah. Okay, we gotta get up there, but we also wanna get this. So we would need more explosives to open this, and we'd have to carry it all the way back. Uh, the good news is there's plenty of this stuff. We found some more. So we can finish our uh, mission objective here. There we go, three of three. Uh, okay, so now we'll grab this and we'll carry it home with us, I guess. So we got sphalerite, we got uh, resin, and we got this exocache object. Can I make her carry it? No, it's, it's too big. So we're going to have to take this home the hard way. One screen at a time. Okay, so I guess if you, if you, maybe if you had a tractor or a trailer on a tractor, you could like pop uh, something like this into it. Um, but you'd have to spend more time building like ramps and roads like this, I think, to, depending on how, I don't know how the, how responsive or maneuverable this tractor would be. Um, but if it was like, you know, you, you definitely have to make sure you have a path to get it in and out. Uh, so underground might be kind of a tricky business with that. That might be more of an above ground kind of a thing. Come on. Almost almost back to the surface. 
So where are we going to get more dynamite? I suppose we should uh, look it up. Although, since we don't even need, need exochips right now, it might not be the right time for this. We can just save this for later. And who knows, maybe we find some more... Uh, maybe we find some more dynamite somewhere out here. Wasn't expecting to find that first bit. Okay. Let's get you home. And then what is this weird mission reward? Seems like, uh... Seems like maybe there's some kind of, like, bug in the system, or... Might be a story mission, some kind of like lore reveal. Somebody like hacked the system and requested this from us. Let's take a look. Ready to collect. We're getting an item here. What on earth is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Strange object. Chronos case file. Pound parentheses zero percent. Bait of the ESS Triton, please deploy at a safe distance from launch pad. Cannot activate until drilled into terrain. Cannot activate due to objects blocking area. Cannot activate near landing zone. Ooh. All right. Well, guys, now you have a reason to come back in the next episode and see what the heck this thing is. I'm going to take a break here. Uh, when we come back, we will explore this, and we will continue uh, building up our infrastructure, uh, seeking out resources, and hopefully learning a little bit more about the what brought us here. So, uh, yeah. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys uh, picking me to watch your video game playthroughs, and hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and other than that, uh, take care. Have a great rest of your day, or night, or afternoon, and uh, we'll see you next time.